Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Okay, so I've been seeing all of these tin can pocket things going around, so I figured I'd try one. So I have a couple of these tin cans that I took both of the ends off, and now I'm painting with some chalk paint. This is sheepskin color, um, and again, it's chalk paint. I only did one um, coat, but you could do two. And I also did the, I don't know, maybe an inch and a half to the, on the inside. Then once it's completely dry, I squish it flat. Um, and I focus on one end. Now, <laughs> you should focus on flattening, really flattening the side that you didn't um, paint on the inside that one inch up but I'll show you how to fix it if you didn't. Um, then I take my crap out aisle. This is just how I do it. I put a bunch of holes in the bottom. Um, and then I take my napkin. I make it one ply. I got these at the Dollar Tree. Uh, measure it out and take some Mod Podge. Put that on the can. I put, I put Mod Podge on the entirety of the can. And then I just wrap around the, um, uh, the can. <laughs> They can and then I just smooth it out and there it is. I cut off the excess and then I um, put some more Mod Podge on so that I can seal the edges so it looks seamless and then I continue to put Mod Podge on all of the outside. Let it dry really well. Now this is what I was talking about before about um, being able to do the inside if you didn't put the paint there or if you made the mistake like I did and put it on the um, squish it the wrong way. All I did was put Mod Podge on the inside and then folded my napkin on the inside so it makes a nice edge. Ta-da! Fixed. See? No crafting emergencies. And then I just cover that also with some Mod Podge. Um, once this is fully dry, then I just sand the edges. And then, see all those pieces where I put those holes? Now I take um, one of my I don't know if this is an embroidery needle or whatever, but I take some jute and I just lace the bottom. Yeah, it takes a little bit of effort, but it was kind of fun. You don't have to do this part though. I'm sure you could glue it and it would be just fine or put ribbon on the end or whatever. Um, and then you just knot off the end and I just stuck the excess of the jute back inside the can. Ta-da! Cool, right? All right, and then I pop a couple holes on the top to make a hanger. Of course, you know I have to distress it, so I did that. I had some wood stars that I painted blue and red that I distressed as well. And then look at this cute little wreath thing. I put a little piece of um, ribbon on it, and I glued it on the inside. This is just embellishment, though, friends. You don't have to do what I did, but I thought it looked kind of cute. Um, and then I glue the little stars onto that. I think it looks adorable. And then I put some floral foam on the inside, and I just add some florals. Super fun. I also added a hanger in those holes that we popped in the can earlier, but that was it. Friends, you could decorate it any way you want. Can you imagine all the different napkins you could use? Friends, I hope you'll try this because, man, it was easy and fun, and it's a cool little fun project. Thanks for watching.